Thanks for the introduction. So today I'm going to talk about uh, dueling bandits for a large-scale setup. This is a joint work with uh, Ilya Markov, Martin Delecki, and uh, Master Zoe. So is this one right? So okay. Yeah, so what are the dueling bandits? Or uh, what are the key arm dueling bandits? So essentially what you have is like you have key arms. So essentially one arm is also an action. And what you want to do is you want you ask and each time step, you ask, uh, you ask the algorithm to choose two arms, L, L and R. L for the left arm, R for the right arm. And then what we, what we are going to do is like you will compare these two arms, and then the feedback, of, the feedback you get is like uh, which of these two arms is a bad, uh, which, of, which, of the two, two, which of these two arms is better than another one. And then um, the goal of this, this, this game is you want to reach to the optimal play. So next slide, I will talk about what is op op optimal play. Um, before this, I want to s give you a not not notation, like we have a preference matrix P, and uh, its element is like, let's call it PIJ, which is a probability that arm I beats arm J. So essentially, if PIJ is larger than 0 0.5, which means uh, arm I is better than arm J, because uh, over half of times arm, J, arm I beats arm J. And so let's go, go to our assumptions. So essentially we, we assume that there exists uh, one arm that, uh, that, that on average beats all the other arms. And we call this arm count C winner. So back to mathematics, if we, if we assume that the first arm is the count C winner, um, the preference matrix of the first arm compared to others are larger than 0 0.5. And of course, we are doing bandits, we have some regret. And uh, in doing bandit, we, def we define the regret like this one, but uh, whatever. Yeah, so now let's go to the optimal play. So essentially, when you do optimal play, what you want is you want to choose two arms without, without regret. So if you want to do this without regret, what you will say is you will see here, um, you want to choose the left arm equals to the counter C winner, also you want to choose the right, 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 right arm equals to the counter C winner. In this case, your regret will goes to zero. So the optimal play, which, which means we choose the um, counter C winner as both left arm and right arm. So I will lead you through a short, I will give you a small introduction to the relative works. So essentially, I think the state of, state of the art work is called double Thompson sampling, but uh, because sample is quite, is, in, quite uh, expensive, it's only lim limited to small scale data set. And then self sparring is also a very nice algorithm, but uh, it has some, some restricted assumption, like it assumes there is no cyclic relation between arms. So cyclic means, let's say, we have three arms, A1, A2, and A3. A1 beats A2, A2 beats A3, A3 beats, A3 beats A1. So essentially, um, self sparring doesn't allow this. And of course, the only one for large scale dueling bandits is uh, merge, merge IUCB. And okay, now let's go to our algorithm. We call it merge double Thompson sampling. So merge here is merge is from like we get this idea from merge salt, which means we use the divider conqueror strategy. So essentially, first what we want to do is we randomly partition arms into small groups, and all the all the computation, all the comparisons only happens in this kind of small groups. So and it, so and each time time step, what we should, we should do is uh, we use a Thompson sampling, sample a tournament, sa sample a tournament inside these small groups, and then we choose the the winner and loser. And then what we want to do is we choose winner and loser of this, this tournament as uh, as left arm and right arm, and then we compare these two arms. Then we get feedbacks, and then we up, up, update our statistics. Our statistics here is like we have a upper confidence bound over the preference matrix, and if we found, um, based on this upper confidence bound, if we found one arm is, is dominated by another one, or if one arm is beaten by another one based on the upper confidence bound, we will eliminate this arm, because it's, it, it cannot be a counter winner. And so if half arms are eliminated, we will redo this partition. So we will, if, if half of arms are eliminate, eliminate, we will go to this step, and then we will redo this thing again. And the algorithm, the algorithm will stop if, we, if only one arm left. And uh, yes, so we, uh, we evaluate the algorithm on the application called online ranker evaluation, which means you have a lot of rankers for, for, for a search system. You have a lot of rankers. You want to know which one is the best. 
And uh, of course, our algorithm is the best. This one is our algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I won't show it to you, right? <laughs> yes, oh yeah, this is the community regret. So the lower, the better. And uh, you can see our algorithm can work quite fast. And then, uh, that's all. <laughs>